Welcome. It's Saturday, April the 10th, and this is the Green Bar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we are reading from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. Here's the word of the Lord. Are we beginning to commend ourselves again? Or do we need, like some people, letters of recommendation to you or from you? You yourselves are our letter, written on our hearts, known and read by everyone. You show that you are a letter from Christ, the result of our ministry, written, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not on tablets of stone, but on tablets of human hearts. Such confidence we have through Christ before God. Not that we are competent in ourselves to claiming anything for ourselves, but our confidence comes from God. He made us competent as ministers of a new covenant, not of the letter, but of the Spirit. For the letter kills, but the Spirit gives life. Now, if the ministry that brought death, which was engraved in letters on stone, came with glory, so that the Israelites could not look steadily at the face of Moses because of its glory, transitory at, though it was, will not the ministry of the Spirit be even more glorious? And that is the word of the Lord. Speed Limit versus Spirit Living. This is the article that Chris Gilmore writes for us today. Sometimes I drive the speed limit. Sometimes I don't. I know what the law says, but the law does not always convince me to make the wisest choice. Speed limits, while necessary, have yet to change my heart. This is the struggle with trying to live by the law. We can follow the rules with disdain. We can follow the letter of the law and still be far from God. Even if we follow the law perfectly, it leads to nothing but pride, frustration, and death. It is here that God steps in and sets us free. It is not the law we follow, but the Spirit of God. Where the law fails to change us, the spirit is transformational. Where the law is impersonal and inflexible, the spirit is personable and intimate. Where the law brings death, the spirit gives life. In what ways have you been frustrated trying to follow the rules? In what ways has law following become a burden in your life? Ask the Holy Spirit to shape and mold you into Christ's likeness. Listen to the Spirit's leading and move away from all that leads to destruction and towards all that leads to life. Elwood H. Stokes wrote to him, Fill me now. Hover over me, Holy Spirit. Bathe my trembling heart and brow. Fill me with thy hallowed presence. Come, O oh come, and fill me now. And from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, verses 14. As he walked along, he saw Levi, son of Adephius, sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, Jesus told him, and Levi got up and followed him. And this is your daily devotion for Saturday, April the 10th. Have a blessed day.